dope, it was all a dream. Related to killers and dope fiends. Cousin was moving at 14. White things, but no porcelain. How could they sleep on this poor thing? What I foreseen was a short thing. Are the Lakers looking to trade for Chris Paul? Paul George drama and is Andre Iguodala finally going to be a member of the Purple and Gold? And that is just scratching the surface. You guys, we have so much to talk about today. You're watching Lakers Report by Chat Sports, all things Lakers. I'm Hannah Keelick, aka Laker Hand. Now let's just get right into this, you guys, because there is so much to talk about. Starting with the first breaking storyline here today, we have Chris Paul potentially being traded to the Los Angeles Lakers. Now this one is just pretty crazy to me, obviously, Chris Paul now plays in OKC. He was a part of that trade that sent Russell Westbrook to Houston to go and join James Harden. Now, Chris Paul has honestly gotten off to a great start with Oklahoma City. He's really been doing a great job being a leader for that team, but it's really no surprise that OKC is looking to trade him. He has a crazy huge contract. He's going to be making $40 million and upwards these next few years. So OKC is definitely looking to unload that contract. Now, two teams that have reportedly been in the mix and trade talks with him was the Miami Heat, but they have been off to such a strong start, really proving that they honestly don't really need anyone else. Jimmy Butler's been doing a great job over there. So now OKC is feeling like Miami may kind of back out. And then of course, Minnesota, who has Carl Anthony Towns and some other talent as well, who doesn't really feel like maybe they need to go out and get Chris Paul and take on that crazy contract. So right now, OKC is seemingly kind of stuck with CP3, but According to Barry Tremel, he is actually believing that, in fact, the Lakers are going to be the ultimate landing spot for Chris Paul. Now, he is saying the reason that the Lakers could be interested in taking on Chris Paul is the fact that, you know, Anthony Davis is so injury prone and LeBron James is getting older. But do they really have enough to offer for Chris Paul? Obviously, they don't really have any first round draft picks. We're not going to have any first round picks for a long, long time. We don't really have any other young talent that OKC would be interested in besides Kyle Kuzma. We all know we're not going to be trading Kuz. Maybe Danny Green, but I don't think that's going to be enough, obviously. So if the Lakers are going to do it, they would really have to kind of unload everyone and really kind of blow up this entire roster. So I don't personally believe that this is going to happen. However, recent reports are saying that Chris Paul to the Lakers is seeming more and more like a possibility over time and that money is apparently no option for them and they are willing to do whatever it takes to get him. Don't know if I necessarily believe Chris Paul is ultimately going to be a Laker, but if this does work out, it would be pretty darn crazy, especially since a few years ago, or I guess probably it was more than a few years ago by now, time flies, but CP3 was supposed to eventually just be a Laker, of course, before David Stern blocked that trade. So that would be pretty crazy if now, you know, about eight years later, he ends up being a Laker. But I'm curious, do you guys think it would be a good idea for the Lakers to trade for Chris Paul? If you do, type Y down below. If not, type N down below. I personally don't really think we need to. I think we already have such a talented team and I don't want to do anything to kind of jeopardize all the chemistry that we have. We have all just been playing so well together. So personally, I'm not really on this CP3 bandwagon, at least him coming and joining the Lakers. Still a fan of CP3 though, but I want to know if you guys think that I am totally wrong or if you guys think that CP3 should definitely come and join the Lakers. Let me know down in the comment section. Now before we move on and talk about some Paul George, because you guys know there was always a ton of drama regarding Paul George, I want to let you guys know on a very, very exciting deal that I just found for you guys. So I know that it is holiday season. I know you guys are looking to try to get your friends and family and fellow Laker fans some holiday gifts, but honestly, a lot of the Laker gear is super expensive. So I went online and I found some awesome deals for you guys. So the first deal that we have here today are these two Lakers shirts. We have a long sleeve shirt and a t-shirt. This is going to be offered at 50% off. And then we also have this second option with are these purple pregame sweatpants. I love these sweatpants. These look super comfy. Those are going to be 40% off. So if you are interested in the first option, we have a very easy URL code for both. But the first option here, these two Lakers t-shirts, you just go to chatsports.com slash Lakers one. And then if you were interested in the purple pregame pants, you just go to chatsports.com slash Lakers 2. Definitely make sure to check that out because those are some awesome deals for you guys. Huge discounts there and I know I'm definitely going to be checking that out. Getting some of those for my family and friends this season but let's move on. Let's talk Paul George even though I really don't want to. Don't like Paul George but we got to talk about him. 
All right, so Paul George is back at it again, just making some ridiculous claims about the Lakers, saying that, you know, them not trading for him back in 2017 when he did go to the Indiana Pacers and demand a trade was something that definitely stayed back in his mind during that 2018 free agency when he ultimately decided to re-sign with OKC. Now, Paul George also went on to say that he really wanted to play in San Antonio, that he was hoping he was going to get traded to San Antonio, but ultimately they didn't have enough assets to trade for him. So here's the thing. According to ESPN, they are saying that San Antonio was actually the landing spot for Paul George. And then in fact, it wasn't really the Lakers because Paul George always wanted to come and play with Kawhi Leonard. So that makes sense to why now in the Clippers they are playing together. But here's the thing that is just kind of funny. Paul George is going on to say that, you know, he didn't want to come and be a Laker because they didn't weren't willing to trade for him during 2017. Now here's the reasoning behind why they didn't trade for Paul George. So at the time it would have cost us Brandon Ingram, who was our previous number two pick, and then our our current number two pick, which went on to be Lonzo Ball. And at the time, Magic Johnson just didn't feel like that was a smart decision. He felt like he could get Paul George in 2018. But of course, Paul George, as we all know, was kind of a baby, kind of a weird guy. And that just left a really bad taste in his mouth. And he decided, you know what? You weren't willing to blow up your entire roster for me. I'm not going to go to you in free agency. Honestly, I'm really happy we never got Paul George. I don't think he's a winner. I will say that he's a good player. I'm never going to deny that. But I'll see when he wins a championship because I just don't think it's going to happen. But Paul George was left very salty by the fact that the Lakers were unwilling to trade for him back in 2017. All right, now moving on to some breaking Andre Iguodala news. You guys, he may be a Laker pretty darn soon. But before we do, do you guys have any really cool Laker jerseys? How many jerseys do you guys have? I kind of want to know down in the comments below because I've been looking actually to get some new jerseys and I don't have that many. I only have a couple of Kobe ones. So comment down below and let me know what jersey I should be getting. And also make sure to stay tuned because we have some very exciting Laker jersey news at the end of this video that you are definitely not going to want to miss but let's move on and let's talk Andre Iguodala because I know all of you guys want to know when is he going to finally join the purple and gold well I have a little bit of an update for you on that according to new reports Memphis reportedly is holding off until February to buy out Iggy in hopes that there is going to be a trade that is made before February now as we all know Memphis would like a first round draft pick and unfortunately the Lakers just don't have that to trade for him so they are hoping that another team will be interested in and try to trade for him before February but then of course once February comes along Iggy could be cut and then he could just ultimately join whatever team he wants to join which of course as we all know is going to be the Lakers now we already know that teams in the east aren't really interested in him we know that it's really other teams in the west that have been expressing interest because of course they want a guy who's going to be able to guard LeBron James and a guy who just has that playoff experience and he would really mean more to the teams in the west than he would to the teams in the east so I don't necessarily know if this is good news in regards to Iggy hopefully becoming a Laker but I do know that it is news and I think it does say something that another team hasn't traded for him yet so I think that is something that we could all kind of remain positive about I still believe that Iggy is going to be a Laker I think we're just maybe gonna have to wait a little bit maybe wait till February but I think Iggy's ultimately going to be Laker. Do you guys agree with me though? Do you guys think Iggy's going to be Laker or do you think another Western Conference team is going to kind of snag him right before the trade deadline? It's going to be a dagger to all of us Laker fans' heart. Let me know down in the comments below. Now, Laker fam, I have not asked you guys this yet, but please do me a huge favor. Please click that subscribe button down below. We are so close to 10,000 subscribers here. This Lakers Report family is growing, but I want to continue to grow as much as possible. And my goal by the end of November, by Thanksgiving, you guys, make me extra, extra thankful this year, is to have 10,000 family members here on this Lakers Report channel. So please do me a favor, subscribe down below. Make sure you are caught up with all things purple and gold. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a follow on my Instagram at Hannah Rose Kulik and my Twitter at Hannah underscore Kulik to keep up with all things Lakers and some fitness things as well. If you know me, you know I love to post workout videos and fitness tips and tricks, but let's move on and let's talk some Laker jerseys. All right, now time 
teams have obviously changed in regards to jerseys and there are so many jerseys with every team honestly now and the Lakers are just a prime example of that you know it used to be that teams would wear their lighter colors at home and darker colors on the road but the NBA got rid of that distinction back in 2017 2018 and honestly now teams are just free to wear whatever jerseys they want we know that the Lakers have a lot of jerseys we know that they have their purple ones their gold ones obviously they have their city jerseys they have their white jerseys that they wear mostly on holidays or Sunday games so they have a lot of jerseys and there's been a lot of question marks to why they're wearing kind of just random jerseys especially when we played Golden State the other day it was kind of confusing because Golden State actually had yellow jerseys and the Lakers were wearing their purple ones and fans were just kind of freaking out over they were just really confused just didn't make a lot of sense so a lot of people are saying what are the Lakers going to do when they make the playoffs what jerseys are they going to wear I need to know what jersey I need to wear when I go to the games now the Los Angeles Times said that if the Lakers do make the playoffs which like come on they're gonna make the playoffs they said that they are going to go back to the more traditional route and they are going to be wearing their Laker gold jerseys at home and their darker purple jerseys on the road so if you were confused and were wondering what color jerseys the Lakers would be wearing in the playoffs you can rest easy it's going to be the more traditional approach but at the end of the day I don't really think Laker fans are all that concerned about which jerseys the Lakers are wearing as long as we make the playoffs and as long as we win I think we are all completely happy happy and very satisfied with that but that is going to be it for today's latest breaking news and rumors regarding our Los Angeles Lakers thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please don't forget to give it a double thumbs up subscribe here on chat sports and until next time Laker hand is out bye guys